Would you like to know the fastest and cheapest way to go from this to this? Well, if you do, you are in luck because today I'm going to show you the fastest way for you to max out your account. And yes, there is a fastest way. And on top of that, I'm going to show you guys a great way to earn free gems. Hope you enjoy this video. Hello fellow brawlers, welcome to the ultimate guide on how to max out your account in Brawl Stars as soon as possible for both gemmers and free to play players alike. Now I've found several little loopholes on how to max your account faster, which is exactly what I'm going to show you, but I'm also going to explain why these loopholes work and that can get pretty complex. So if you're new to the game, this guide really could get pretty confusing because it is extremely detailed. But don't worry, I'm going to make sure to clearly explain what you should do in case you don't really care about why you should do it. Now we're going to start off by explaining the progression system and how to use it to your advantage. Then we're going to move on to the right way to upgrade your brawlers because there is a right way. And lastly, we're going to talk about the best use for your gems and ads to max out your account as quickly and as cheaply as possible. Make sure you watch the entire video because there is going to be a hint throughout there on how you can legitimately earn free gems. Wink wink. Now if you want to max out your account as quickly as possible, it's very important that you understand the fundamental basics of how the progression system works in Brawl Stars. Every 12 hours you will have 100 keys that are available for you to earn from battle. Now 100 keys opens up one brawl box and that means that every day you're going to get two brawl boxes as long as you are completing those available keys every single day. In addition, every 24 hours each game mode actually switches to a new map and you can earn 10 free keys just for clicking on them like that. This means that you get a free 40 keys per day if you have all the event modes unlocked. Lastly, the first time that you win an event for the day, you actually earn a star key. And for every 10 star keys, you get to open up one free big box down here. Ooh gems. Each big box is the equivalent of basically three brawl boxes. Now if you do have all four events, this means that you get an equivalent of about 1.2 boxes per day through the star key bonus. Now that we've got the absolute basics down, let's go ahead and talk about trophies and why it's important for you to actually push as high as you can and as quickly as you can if you want to max out your account faster. If you're a new player in the game, the first thing that you want to do is you want to try and push to 800 trophies in as few days as you possibly can so that you can unlock the special events, which is the fourth game mode. Before you get that fourth game mode, you are missing out on 10 free keys every single day and the star key on top of that. On top of that, if you do not have that fourth game mode unlocked, you are missing out on the chance for you to bonus free tickets from your boxes, and that means that you're missing out on a great opportunity to further progress your account every weekend with special events. Now at this point, I've actually used all the available keys that I have from battle, and so some people are like, well, I guess I'm done progressing. I mean, if you're still enjoying the game, keep on playing and actually push every brawler as high as you can with the level that they are at that point, and that will result in you earning more ladder rewards from the leagues, some more bonus rewards from leveling up your whole account, and you'll earn some additional keys just from ranking up those different brawlers. Here I am on my level one account Account, and I just leveled up from level 16 up to level 17 from just experience from playing the game and my bull went from rank 8 to rank 9 which got me an additional 10 keys. This means that if you have the time you can actually boost progression early on by starting with as many brawlers as possible because you pushed in the ladder. Okay guys next let's go ahead and talk about the right way for you to upgrade your brawlers if you want to max your account as soon as possible. Now the first thing you need to understand is how the progression of the resources that you have actually changes as you go from a brand new account all the way up to a maxed account. When it comes to Brawl Stars your progression actually happens in two separate phases, okay? The first phase is before all of your brawlers have enough power points to reach max level, and during phase one, each of your boxes will drop one gold drop and two PowerPoint drops. And here, if you watch an advertisement, you get to double one of these three drops. Ooh, I think I'm gonna double some gold. Yay. Phase two is after all of your brawlers have enough power points to reach max level, but you don't have enough gold to upgrade them all. Now during phase two, rather than getting excess power point drops in your boxes, you instead actually get one drop of three sets of gold. 64 gold, that's not half bad. And now that I'm only getting one drop of three sets of gold, I effectively get to double all three rewards instead of just one of the three. 
128 gold. Yeah, that's uh, that's much better. Obviously, this means that you actually get more rewards for your boxes in phase two of the progression than in phase one by using your ad doublers. I do like the sound of more progression, so what if you could actually get to phase two faster? That would actually mean that you could speed up progression by using the add doubler system to your advantage. That sounds like a really good idea, but that can't be possible, right? Wrong. You can actually get to phase two faster by converting your gold to power points. And you do this by purchasing daily power point specials that are available in a shop for two gold for one power point. By purchasing these specials, you actually trade your gold gold for power points, which will help you get to phase two of your progression even faster. So then some people might be asking, well, but Kairos, isn't that kind of a waste? Because I kind of need gold to upgrade my brawlers. Actually, it's not because while you do trade two gold for one power point in the shop during phase one, that means that you'll just get into phase two faster. And once you are into phase two of progression, those power point drops are converted back to gold drops at the same rate of two gold for one power point. The only difference is that at this point in the progression, you can double all of the rewards from your box rather than just one third. So is it worth it to purchase these power point specials in the shop? Well, early on when you have excess gold, it is worth it because you'll actually be able to get stronger brawlers that will allow you to push up higher in the ladder easier and faster. But as you go through and you start unlocking more and more brawlers and level them up higher, you're actually going to get to a point where you'll have plenty of power points to level them up, but not enough gold to level them up. Now at this point, it is technically still best to purchase power points if you want to max out your account as soon as possible because it will help you get to phase two of the progression faster. But if you do that, you're just not gonna have any gold to upgrade your brawlers and it'll be extremely under leveled and that can just lead to really frustrating gameplay. So the question is, when should you buy power points and when should you actually focus on your brawlers? The best suggestion I have is to try and find a balance between trying to max out your account faster and actually having brawlers that are leveled up to a decent level. Now that's gonna be different for everybody, but if it were my account personally, I would upgrade my brawlers to level 6 or level 7 and then start dumping all of my gold into power points so that I will reach phase 2 of progression faster. The reason why is because at level 7 you're actually only playing at a 10% stat disadvantage versus max players but you're actually saving tons of gold by not upgrading your brawlers that you can then use to purchase those power points. Now another thing that you can do to vastly speed up progression is regarding star powers. Unlike the brawler levels 1 through 9, the difference between level 9 and 10 isn't just a boost to your super attack and health. It's actually a unique ability for that specific brawler called a star power. And once a given brawler is level 9, you can actually acquire this star power one of two ways. First of all, it can be a lucky drop from a box. And second of all, you can actually purchase it from a special in the shop for 2,000 keys per star power. Now, because it is impossible to get a star power drop before a brawler is level 9, once you're in phase 2 of progression, I recommend leveling up your brawlers one at a time to level 9 so that there is a chance that you will get a star power from a box drop. The reason why this is so important is because for every star power that you get from a lucky box, you actually save 2,000 gold which is a huge savings on your path to maxing out your account. Now it's for this reason that I actually recommend not spending 2000 gold on star powers until all of your brawlers are level nine. Now, if you do this, by the time all of your brawlers are actually level nine, you should have received several free star power from boxes. And at that point, you're good to start you saving up your gold and purchasing the rest of the star powers for brawlers that don't have a star power. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the importance of upgrading all of your brawlers equally in order to max out your account as soon as possible. In order for us to understand why this is actually important, we need to first outline the fact that there is a 5% increase in attack damage, super damage, and health from your base stats for every single upgrade that you go through with your brawlers. So basically what that means is that the difference between a level one and a two Shelly is the same difference between a level eight and a level nine Shelly. But the upgrade costs at higher levels is much, much steeper for both the power points and the gold. 
This means that you actually get more value in your upgrades on your lower brawlers than on your higher ones. This is the first reason why you're going to want to upgrade your brawlers equally rather than just focusing on one or two. But in addition to that, like I said, you maximize rewards as you focus on total trophies instead of individual brawler trophies. Now, if you're not convinced that it is best to upgrade all brawlers equally, don't forget that there are over 25 different maps in Brawl Stars, and every brawler has some maps that they're good at, and also some maps that they really are not good at. This makes it easier to push all of your brawlers and go up in total trophies much higher if you are playing all of your brawlers and leveling them all up equally. I will just add one caveat though, there are some brawlers that just are harder or more difficult to push than other brawlers, either because of the meta or because of how the brawlers work. One suggestion I have is to make sure you subscribe to the channel for future videos. I do a series on tier lists where I rank every single brawler in the game according to the every single game mode in the game, and that will give you a better understanding of which brawlers are good and which ones are not so good. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and ask the question, how can you best utilize your advertising advertisements to progress your account, okay? When you open up your boxes, you have the option of watching advertisement to double one of the three rewards. As I mentioned earlier, this is available five times per day. So out of here, which one would you decide to double, okay? We got double, we got 13 gold, which is the most that's there. Obviously, it's pretty easy to tell whether you're gonna get the seven power-ups for the Shelly or the 10 power-ups for Colt. Obviously, Colt is better, but what about choosing between the 13 gold and the 10 power-ups for Colt? Now, if you're paying attention earlier to my video, you recognize that the equivalent exchange rate for gold to power points is two gold for one power point. This means that all we have to do is just do some quick math to determine which reward is worth more. If the gold is worth more than two, times the higher PowerPoint reward always go for the gold. But if the gold is less than double the highest PowerPoint reward, go for the highest PowerPoint reward. In this case, the equivalent of gold to our 10 PowerPoint Colt would be 20 gold, which is more than what we have right here. So the best option is to go for the Colt. Oh yeah. Now in this situation though, we've got 17 gold and the highest power point is seven. Double that seven power points for that barley and that's 14, which is less than that 17 gold. So obviously in this case, the best option is to go for that 17 gold and double that to a nice 34 gold. Now guys, obviously the quickest way to max out your account is by acquiring gems and spending them in game. But most of us don't quite have the money to max out our account on day one. So we're gonna talk about the most effective way to spend those free gems that you get as those bonus rewards and if you are willing to spend some money in the game. But before that, I actually found a great way for you to earn gems completely free so that you can max out your account as quickly as possible. That's right guys, I'm talking about Cash for Apps. It is an app that is available for both Android and iOS and gives you rewards for testing out other apps, completing surveys and completing other tasks. It's a super easy and reliable way for you to actually redeem gifts oftentimes you only even have to pull up the app for like one to two minutes and as you can see here there are tons of different types of gift cards and things like that that you can earn and one thing that is really nice is you can actually go ahead and switch that to Canada and earn Canadian gift cards so that you can definitely use these on Brawl Stars and on top of that guys I even included a very special link I contacted cash for apps in order to get you a specialized link that will earn you 100 free points if you download and get signed up so make sure you go ahead and do that today you know you want to okay guys let's go ahead and get back to the most efficient use for your gems for that I'm gonna have to show you guys the most beautiful spreadsheet that I have ever created. Okay, so maybe it's not really that pretty, but it does help us figure out the best use of our gems. So first of all, guys, we got our big rocks right here. It's 30 gems, it's worth three boxes, and basically what that means is you're gonna be earning 10 keys per gem if you do spend your gems on these regular big boxes. Next, we have the mega box, which is worth 80 gems and basically gives you 10 regular boxes, which means its equivalent of keys is 1,000, which translates into 12.5 keys per gem. Next we have the key doubler which costs 50 gems and is going to double the next 1000 keys you earn from battle and that results in 20 keys per gem so as you can see right here if you have the patience to kind of wait through and actually play the game and earn those keys that way the key doubler is by far the most efficient way for you to spend games especially early on still there is a more efficient way for you to use your gems if you are skilled and you have decently leveled brawlers 
and have good teammates to help you, you can actually grind out Robo Rumble and earn up to 20% more keys per gem than even key doublers. Now the best offer for your tickets is 60 tickets for 80 gems. And basically every time you go into Robo Rumble, you earn a specific number of keys per ticket based off of how well you did in Robo Rumble. Now in order for it to be more worth it for you to actually spend your gems on rolls of tickets rather than doing it on key doublers, you're going to have to last long enough in Robo Rumble for you to basically get 27 keys per ticket or higher. If you can't earn 27 keys per ticket, it's more worth it for you to spend your gems on those key doublers. But if you can manage to last long enough to get max rewards at 32 keys per ticket, that results in you earning a massive 24 keys per gem, which like I said, is a 20% increase over key doublers. Now, honestly, it can take a lot of practice to get to the point where you can consistently get max rewards from Robo Rumble, especially if your brawlers are not max. Because of this, I recommend you use your free tickets that you get from Brawl Boxes in Robo Rumble until you are good enough that you can consistently earn more than 27 keys per ticket. Now, once you can do that consistently, definitely use your gems on those rolls of tickets for Robo Rumble. But until that point, I recommend spending your free gems on key doublers if you want to get the best value and save the most time. Now, if you go into the store, you click on this box right here, and then next to that confirm purchase, you press that little icon right there. There, you can have a ton of info regarding the possibilities that you will get certain drops in any particular box. Here with my relatively new account that I've made, you can actually take a look and see the possibilities that I'll, that I'll get a rare brawler, a super rare brawler, an epic or mythic or legendary brawler. But what's really key right here in this paragraph below that information, it explains that once you have unlocked all rewards of a certain type, for example, a rare brawler, the probability to get all other rewards increases. So once you unlock all the rare brawlers, the odds will actually go up that you will unlock a mythic brawler or a legendary brawler even. And once you unlock all of the super rare brawlers and all of the mythic brawlers and all of the epic brawlers, then the odds of you getting a legendary brawler increases even further. On top of that, this paragraph explains that there is some type of a luck value that is used to determine whether or not you will get a legendary brawler in your next box. It explains, with each draw that does not give you a new brawler, your luck value is increased. And each time you get a new brawler, your luck value goes down based on the rarity of the brawler that you got. What that means is that every box that does not give you a brawler increases your luck value and increases the likelihood that you will get a legendary brawler in your next box. Basically, this means that you are eventually guaranteed to get every single brawler in the game. It's just a matter of taking your time and opening up enough boxes and it will happen as long as you're patient. Okay, it could probably happen even if you're not patient, but you'll enjoy the game a lot more if you are patient. And we know that it's basically guaranteed that you will get every brawler in the game. Now let's backtrack and talk about these specials, okay? When you're opening up your boxes, it only takes one box to unlock a brawler. Now I know that there are a lot of boxes in between that one box, but it only takes one box. So by purchasing these brawler specials, you're essentially spending tons of gems just to open one box. That means that you're actually going to miss out on all the gold, all the power points, all the bonus items that would have come from all the other boxes that you would have gotten if you just would have taken your gems and spent them on boxes or key doublers or even tickets. Now there's no shame in just purchasing these specials, honestly, like that's really supporting the game and that's very much appreciated. Like I said though, if you don't have the money to spare, spend your gems on tickets or key doublers instead of these guaranteed brawler specials. Anyways guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this whole guide. If this guide helped you, please share it with your friends or your fellow bandmates. And after you've done that, make sure you post in the comment section who you shared it with and I will respond to your comment as long as it is posted within the first three days of this video going live. And of course guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as turn on your notifications for future Brawl Stars content, including entertaining videos, tier lists, and of course, more Brawl Stars guides. For now, this is Karo's time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.